Hello everybody. What we will do now is provide a comprehensive overview of the disc brake conversion for the 57 through 62 chassis using the F, J, and M body spindles, which range from 1976 to 1989, mid-size transverse torsion bar Mopars. Here is an overview of the parts required. We have brake pads, part number visible, left and right calipers. Those are the part numbers for Cardone. New rotors. These are online C-Tech brand. Inner and outer wheel bearings. Grease seals. The brake hoses. These are specced for the 80s cars which would be the 82 through 89 Fifth Avenue, New Yorker, Murata, and Diplomat. I'll outline removing that bracket because it's unnecessary for this application. There we have new castle nuts and retainers, caliper brake hose bolts, dust caps, and the most important part, the F, J, and M body spindles. And these are suitable for use with 14 inch rims to maintain the original hubcaps of your 57 through 62 Mopar. When you view the lower bowl joint, that taper is applicable for 118 inch wheelbase and 122 inch wheelbase Plymouth and Dodges. If you have a 126 inch wheelbase car, you'll have to ream that to the larger lower bowl joint size or you can opt to use the Plymouth or Dodge bull joint in the larger chassis vehicle. I don't suggest that if you're running a Chrysler Hemi because of the weight. Now, what cars do, can you find these out of? These are readily available for the most part in scrap yards. The earliest vehicles are the Aspen and Volare, which come out in 76 and run till about 78 or 79. Then we transition to the small Cordobas, which come out in 1980, as well as the Dodge Murata and the 80s square body cars, which would are the St. Regis, New Yorker, Fifth Avenue, and Diplomats. If you happen to source these from a police package car, you might have the larger rotors, which would disallow the 14-inch wheels and require a 15-inch. So pay mind to the size of the rotors, and I'll give an exact measurement as we uh, approach the installation steps.